Well, April 4th continues and literally the winds in excess of 25 miles an hour. We're going to see those winds continue with a high wind warning that is in effect all day long. And that's part of our four things you need to know. That's going to go till 11 o'clock. Heavy mountain snows, we're already seeing that into the Cascades, also into the Rockies as you cross over to Montana. Afternoon showers, potentially a thunder shower, and then areas of blowing dust, uh, 395 into the Tri-Cities, in around uh, areas of the Central Basin, I-90, Ritzville to Moses Lake, the usual suspects, if you will. Scattered showers still out there, uh, 41 heading out, 47 at 1. Um, we're going to see less rain and more wind this afternoon, and uh, cooling to 39 by 9 o'clock. Again, our high today, 51. Winter weather, uh, the winter weather advisory for areas Coeur d'Alene uh, to the east of Coeur d'Alene all the way into Montana. And again, that uh, high wind warning that you see in gold that goes all the way down into Grangeville. So this thing continues. Winds in excess of 35 miles an hour already today. Um, we've had wind gusts 24 into the valley, Moses Lake to 21, and that is on the low end. We're gonna see that grow. We look at the radar and we were out of the rain for a little bit, but now it filled back in from the south. We're going to see a continuation of more shower potential, but we look at that wind forecast and really firing up out of the west around noon. We're going to see winds in excess of 40 miles an hour and then calming down about eight, nine o'clock. We're still going to see some gusty winds, but it should be better. Today's high uh, below average. 54 is a normal high, so we're going to be at 51, 49 into Coeur d'Alene, uh, 60 into the Tri-Cities, but again, blowing dust potential there. We look at our planning forecast. We're going to have 51 today, chance to shower, thunder shower, potential, windy at times, still breezy tomorrow with winds to 35 miles an hour gusts, and 52 warming, partly cloudy, and 56 on Wednesday, and then 67 on Thursday, 65 on Friday in advance of another front. That passes when temperatures drop down to 50 by Sunday with overnight lows down to freezing. I'm Mark Peterson. I thank you for watching this. First Alert Weather app would be a perfect addition to your toolbox and knowing what you're going to be facing as you head outdoors. Download it. It's free and it's been upgraded. I'm Mark Peterson, 4 News Now, Spokane, Washington. I hope you have a great day.